Shalom. This is Mary Omni from the World Government House of King David, Holy Covenant Constitutional Enforcer. This is a Republic Notice. The title of this Republic Notice is called First Lady Michelle Obama, Our Next President. First Lady Michelle Obama, Our Next President. While different people is talking about different people running for president, they throw names like Hillary Clinton out there and uh, and somebody named Ted Cruz from Canada. And, you know, they getting up there, uh, you know, their, their hype and everything. But I just want to say, hold up, hold up. First Lady Michelle Obama will be our next president. If you can think about Hillary Clinton and she was a president wife, then we can think about Michelle Obama as a president wife being president. You know, there's no reason not to. As a matter of fact, she is the most qualified candidate that we have right now. She also is in the Holy Covenant Constitution Supreme Contract. You know, this assumption that the White House belonged to debtors is a bad assumption. And when I say debtors, I mean those who contract with the U.S. corporation and without their contract with the U.S. corporation, they wouldn't have nothing in America whatsoever. And what they do have is just stolen and they consent to debt and theft. We don't need no more debt presidents. The only way to ensure the new image of the new America and the new kingdom of David is for the debt free lighthouse to hold the debt free light people who light cannot escape like Michelle Obama. Now, I put her name out there, but she says she's not interested in politics. Who would be interested in the politics? But as the King of David comes in, we don't have to deal with the politics. We will ha we will now deal with concrete constitutional debt free new earth love light of the King David kingdom coming in. Now, Michelle Obama, if she wants to be president, is hers because blacks are the supreme contractors and only they can say that Michelle or President Obama have to leave that White House. And most blacks don't want them to leave the White House, okay? And they are the constitutional supreme contractors in truth that put them there. President Obama did a revolution in that he played along with the dumb contractors who run to the voting booth like goats and think because they run like a pack of goats to the voting booth that they can somehow supreme black constitutional amendments because you run to the uh, voting booth like goats and a herd of cattle and what the Khazars call the Goyam. Well, this constitution has never been about herding. As a matter of fact, blacks never went off the refer referendum. And we non-consent the 17th Amendment by automatically us being non-consenters built into the Supreme Contract because three-fifths couldn't consent to anything, but yet they're in the contract as the only constitutional and national citizens. So we non-consent, you know, this majority herd uh, being anything but in corporate doctrine contractors who consent to debt and theft because their whole existence in America has to be consent to debt and theft for infringement for a 14th birthright that has been non-consented since 1868. So what they get is a de facto in corporate doctrine to reward them for their infringement and trampling like a wild pack goats and dogs and whatever, you know, whatever animal you want to call them. It can't be nothing but animalistic behavior because they don't have the humanity to accept blacks work 400 years and that they in a supreme contract as proof that they are the founders of America with amendments starting from 1787. They was written as three fifths. Now you might want to say, well, they were slaves, so that didn't count. Well, well, that's your glorified privilege. But the fact is, three-fifths equals 60% investment written down from the beginning. And so by the time 1868 came, they had owned America lock, stock, and barrel since 1868. So all who came later wanted to 
make up the uh, a new government that Woodrow Wilson called birth of a new nation because they didn't want to accept these black supreme contractors. But anyway, back to the point. The White House, a.k.a. Lighthouse, must now be debt free. If you're not in the supreme contract, if you're not with a black woman like Robert De Niro or President Obama, you cannot be president, okay? We cannot deal with no more in corporate doctrine contractors that contract with our mule. You got too much world debt with you. The image of the world debtors and the white face in the White House or the pink skin is old and it's passe. The world don't respect that. Now, you may think that the world has thrown away President Obama, but no, it's mostly white people in the world, okay? You know, you got white people here who's cheering for President Putin, but I wonder would they take their ass to Russia and give us all a break? You like Putin and the way he governs? Take your ass to Russia. Go yesterday, okay? See, because you have no allegiance to our president, and President Obama is constitutional, whether you like it or not. He's married to Michelle. They have children. His blood is in the Constitution. That means his blood date backs as far as Michelle's because it's merged with Michelle's, okay? Like it or not. And Article 2 is not consented to the public. The public is 1871, the U.S. Corporation demarcation point. Anyone who came after that is nothing but a public majority herd of goats and animals who only existence can be them infringing on the supreme contract of 1 through 15th amendments. So first lady, Michelle Obama, for president, for next president, or we'll have Marion Robinson, or we'll have Valerie Jarrett, or we'll have Susan Rice. It's time for the brilliant black women to hold up her supremacy clause. See, the age of the white male is over. The age of the black male trying to imitate the white male and thinking that he's going to subdue the balance of the cosmic of the female mother goddess is over. It's over. You have f***ed up, all of you. You effed up. You effed up. The situation is now is a f up. Is a F up. So you don't have no brilliance and intelligence. You have a F up. You have a F up of your patriarchal system. Your patriarchal system has F up the world. We don't need your debt. We don't need your phony religion patriarchs who go behind closed doors and rape boys. We don't need a black man thinking he's above the black woman. We need we need a President Obama. God Almighty provided him. Michelle Obama is his professional counterpart. Valerie Jarrett, brilliant woman. Susan Rice, brilliant woman. And the Honorable Marion Robinson. See, because if none of these not president, then none will be. The days of the presidency will be over and the monarchy of King David Kingdom will move on in. Forget putting anybody who don't have a constitutional amendment in the White House. That day is over with. And if it's a constitutional amendment after 1871, it don't count because it is not the supreme contract. 1871 is the U.S. corporation. All amendments after that is blocked by King Yashua Mule called the U.S. corporation that was given to blacks with the 40 acres. And before the mule came was the 15th Amendment. That's the new Jerusalem wall, baby, with a built-in vote of automatic non-consent jurisdiction because the jurisdiction was changed to abolish slavery. And it became non-consenters jurisdiction. Michelle Obama non-consents the debt. Valerie Jarrett non-consents the debt. Marion Robinson non-consents the debt. Susan Rice non-consents the debt. Debt-free new America of the kingdom of King David is now ours. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. Shalom.